Red Dead Online feels like it's gone drier for too long now. Let's get straight into the video. Now, when I say Red Dead Online has, has been dry for, for so long now, I don't mean like in general. Like obviously, we have updates and stuff to Red Dead Online that can kind of keep us going. But it's not the case, you know, even when we have updates, the game is still dry. Look at the last update we had. It was the Bounty Hunter Roll expansion. And no matter how, what, no matter how much you try to not rush through the update, you were still done with it within three days. And that's not including the Outlaw Pass. Outlaw Pass will always keep us playing for a few weeks, a couple of months even, to get that Outlaw Pass done. But I'm talking about content itself, you know, updates, Bounty Hunter expansion. Uh, it looks like we're getting a Trader expansion next, but will that be a repeat? You know, will we be done with it in three days? And then all we have left is the Outlaw Pass left to grind, and then that's it. You know, what I'm trying to say is that it's dry. It's so dry, you know. If, if, we're, if we have to wait three to five months for an update for Red Dead Online, why is it, you know, it's, it's being done within three days? You know, back in the day, you know, we had content that would keep us going for weeks, months. But it seems in Red Dead Online... We have new content, yeah, great, good things come with it, but also bad things come with it, but the content itself is good for the first 24 hours, then it already starts to become boring, a part of the game, and there's not much to do. Myself, my team, many of you guys watching, when updates now come out, because we know the lack of content we get for Red Dead Online, we, we take our time with it. But it's even getting to the point with the last few Red Dead Online updates. We take our time the best we can. But it's still finished with within three days, maybe five days. That's not good enough. And to be honest, everyone everyone in the Red Dead Online community, you know, their, their hopes are now low. They're not high anymore. They're, our hopes are low because we expect small content every update from now onwards in Red Dead Online and we shouldn't be feeling that way we should not be feeling that way we should be excited we should have plenty of content to keep us going for a minimum of a month maybe even two months but we don't get that we get three days content now what do they expect us to do play for five minutes and have three days off just to space out the content no we just want to play now New players, you new players, if you're watching this and you're a new player, now is the best time for you. Because imagine, you know, being a new player, you've got so much content in front of you. All of the roles, all of the missions, all of the, you know, side stuff. Yeah, there is so much for new players, especially when it comes to the naturalist role. New players have months of content going after every legendary animal in the game. New players are good right now, you know, they have so much content in front of them. You know they've got the you know they've got the motivation to grind the game to get the gold to get the rolls and keep moving forward. That's great. I'm I'm happy for them. But us veterans, you know, we've been here since beta days. You know, day one, I have, and we've done everything. So you know, we we wait around for an update to come. Then it comes. We're excited. 24 hours later to 72 hours later, we're back to square one and we're left dry again. The content, what I'm trying to say is the content recently and probably coming soon, the content is not long enough. And I feel it's going to be that way for a very long time. And it just makes you think, who is actually making the game? Because we know Rockstar are, are amazing at game, making games and trying their best to keep the fans happy. But it don't seem like they are when it comes to Red Dead Online with recent content and upcoming content. It's crazy. Now, going back to the Frontier Pursuits update, that was one of the best things that ever hit Red Dead Online. We got three rolls at once. We had content coming out of our ear rolls. It, it was ridiculous, but it was amazing. And that's how it should be every single time. The Frontier Pursuits update kept us busy for, wow, uh, three, four months at the minimum. 
because we had three roles to get through. We had to rank up each of those roles to rank 20. And plus all the other side stuff. We, we, you know, we had to run our moonshine business to get it to the best it could be. We had to grind the collector roles, get all the collectibles to get our money and XP. The bounty hunter role, we grinded it for the money, XP and gold. There was so much to do when that update came out. We haven't had up an update like that since. And we don't know when we're going to get an update like that. Yeah, the Trader World expansion could be next. I guarantee you now it's only going to last about three days. Obviously it could last longer than that. But I'm talking being excited and grinding it. It's going to be three days content again. And we're sick of it. It's so annoying. And right now, you know, I'll probably speak for many of you watching this. But we no longer look forward to updates coming out in in Red Dead Online because we think it's going to be small which is kind of good to think that way so when it is small we're less disappointed um, but we've learned over time this is the case with Rockstar Games they really need to pull their finger out and give us content give us content to play for at least a month at the minimum not three days we wait we wait three to five months for an update and it lasts for three days, even if we try and take our time with it. It's ridiculous. We've also lost the purpose of lo loading in every single day to keep up with our daily challenge streak. That's also pushed players away from the game. So for me, it seems like that's what they're trying to do, push people away. Why would you do that? You, you have a game you want us to invest in, you lower the gold payouts, you increase gold on certain things in the game, etc. A jacket that was added uh, last Tuesday, 11 gold bars. I just found out that exact jacket used to cost $179. It's now worth 11 gold bars. That is insane. Let me know what you guys think of, of what I've spoke about in this video. Content is dry and it's probably going to be dry for a very long time. The next few updates, the taxidermy world, the trader expansion... Sounds exciting, but I feel it's only going to be three to five days content to keep us happy. Let me know what you think. Are you still playing right now? Are you grinding? That question goes for the veterans like myself. Not really. You know, it's, I'm not really playing Red Dead. There's nothing to do. I've done everything. The new players to Red Dead Online are having a time of their life, and I'm happy for the new players. I really am. But let me know your thoughts, guys. Um, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. We'll talk about it. If you enjoyed the video, let me know by dropping a like on it. Subscribe and hit that bell. I'm SG. I'll see you guys next time.